Greetings, I'm Bobby W6IWN. I'm at Lake Tahoe, California at Poda Park US 3452, I believe. And I got a really cool antenna that a friend loaned to me that I wanna show you guys today. This is not only great for Poda, but also the HOA. And I know what you guys are thinking. Okay, it's another coil antenna, you're right but it's a screwdriver coil antenna, and I'm gonna use it portable. I've been doing this in the HOA, and this thing's great because I can get all the way to 80 meters with a little teeny whip that comes with it. It comes with two different whips. This one will get you all the way to six meters, and this will get you the 80 meters all the way up there. So it's real simple, you just pop in the whip. So one thing I'm gonna do that's gonna be special with this, I've been using the Chameleon Blank and the Chameleon Puck. So, and also I'm putting this thing on a, a camera tripod to make it real easy. And it's super stealth, because this is all black. My tripod's black. Then when I want to work 40 and 80 at night in the HOA, I set this thing up with no worries. I've been doing it lately. So I got this camera tripod adapter that will get me from the 3 8 24 thread. And then I'll just screw this in. So I've been using the Stingers in the HOA, because it leaves a smaller footprint but these won't get me 40 and 80 meters. So what I'm doing is I'm using the stingers. They're cool, it plugs right into the puck hub here. I'll show you pictures closer up. But also I'm doing one 25 foot counterpoise wires in conjunction with the stingers and that's getting me 40 and 80 meters. And it leaves a super small footprint and I believe it's really stealth. I can put it up in the evening and take it down at night or put it up on the weekends. I really just don't leave it up during the day in the HOA I'm at. For today, since I'm out at a Poda Park and I got more room, I'm just gonna do a bunch of counterpoise wires. I got six set of two wires each that are uh, about 17 feet long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw the, the blank into the camera tripod adapter. Ricky! No, you need to stick around. No. <clears throat> Sorry, my dog's running around like a crazy maniac. Okay, now that I've got this screwed in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug my counterpoise wires in. They all have banana plugs that will simply just plug in the, the chameleon puck up here. Diamond includes an Allen wrench to put on the whips. And uh, be upfront with you guys, I have no affiliation with Diamond. They did not give me in this antenna. I'm just out here having fun and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, I would actually recommend putting the whip on before you put it on the tripod. I was kind of in a rush. Ricky has been dragging me around by the leash. He really wants to run around by the lake today. All right, here's the cool part that makes this antenna different than your Wolf River coil and the other coil antennas. So this one has a screwdriver inside that automatically will move it up and down when you trigger this up and down switch on the controller. And I'll show pictures of this up closer. So it comes with a cable and there's also like an outdoor extension cable. This thing is super low, draws super low power. I wanna say it's rated at 100 milliamps. So I'm simply just gonna power it. I have a th three pack of these 18650 batteries that should be fine for it since it draws such less power. I, I did put a cigarette lighter adapter. This isn't my antenna, a friend loaned it to me because this is meant to plug into your mobile. So you could actually have this thing on your vehicle and then when you wanted it to use it at your HOA, or if you didn't want to do a POTA from your vehicle and you wanted to set it up somewhere different on a tripod, boom, you have that option if you leave the cigarette lighter on there. So this thing's keyed, it's just the four wires. It's real simple, it can only plug in one way. Okay, and then on the other end of the extension, it's the same deal. There's gonna be a female to male that's gonna plug in. So this will go to your cigarette lighter or your battery. And then the switch simply will move the antenna up and down. So you gotta be patient with it because this thing's gonna go really slow because you're trying to tune. If it goes too fast, it's just gonna go past it. That's why it's meant to go slow. I will show you real quick how to set up the stingers, how I do it in the HOA, but I'm not gonna be using them today for POTA. So these all have banana plugs on the end. These are the chameleon stingers and they simply just plug right into the puck hub here, which makes it real easy, real quick. And then this is a real small footprint, but you gotta keep in mind, you're not gonna be getting your 40 and 80 meters here. You're gonna have to add a counterpoise if you wanted to get those bands. 
So there's a police officer right now up here watching me. <laughs> I hope he's getting entertained. I've had a couple people, but I actually got uh, one follower here. And if you're watching this video, I appreciate your subscription. I hope you and your uh, significant other are having a great time out here at Lake Tahoe. Oh, here comes the police. Are they gonna talk to me? Come here, Ricky. Come here, come here. You gotta be on a leash, son. Here, come here. You gotta be on a leash, the cops are coming. The cops are coming, Ricky. Okay, since the police are watching me, I should probably have my dog on a leash now. So for my counterpoise wires, same thing. They have banana plugs. I got six sets with two wires each, about 17 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and then deploy those. So doing this on a beach running counterpoise wires is probably not the best idea on a busy day. It's uh, still winter here and it's the very slow season. So I think I could pull it off today, but I don't recommend uh, going to the ocean and doing this on a busy beach and having a bunch of counterpoise wires out like this because it's gonna cause problems, especially when dogs run around. Okay, immediately after I said it's probably not a good idea to do that on a beach, Someone came by with a dog and my dog was being friendly. They didn't pull down the antenna. So it is a slow season, like I said, but I'm gonna move it a little closer to the lake because I can see how this could be a problem if another dog comes in. Plus I could throw some counterpoise in the lake. Okay, now I have my counterpoise hooked up. I'm using the chameleon coax that's got a choke on one end and I'm gonna put the choke on the antenna side. The extension for the power cord for the motor inside the antenna just plugs into the other wire here. I'm gonna leave the rest of the slack on my winder, but as you can see, I have my up and down controls and then power that will move the antenna up and down. I'm not gonna use this with a tuner. You don't wanna use it with a tuner. You wanna get it resonant. But before you go and just start tuning up your radio, you wanna make sure you turn it to low power, five, 10 watts tops. And then Diamond provides this chart on the side of the antenna, I'll try to show you pictures up close. There's a numbered system, and then it's gonna tell you what bands to adjust it for. You wanna go ahead and adjust it and get it close before you start tuning. Turn your radio down, put it on ready, or send out a CW tone, and then check it on an SWR meter, and then you're gonna wanna feather the antenna up and down, and then you'll get a good match. I was getting 1.12 on 80 meters, and that 1.12, one on 40 meters last night with these six stingers and one 25 foot counterpoise wire and the long whip. All right, that's about it for getting it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and activate uh, Parks on the Air while I'm here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. In and in Yankee Yankee Charlie. Echo five, Yankee Yankee Charlie. Isn't uh, really all that great tonight. But anyway, you landed in the YL system. Uh, we meet here each night. Uh, Monday through Friday at 0300 Zulu. Okay, the engine right now, which is the kind of equipment I talk to you from there. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of people using those. I believe Bob uses one of those here, okay? The other uh, net controller, K6AII, we've been working on uh, his audio. There's a million. <laughs> there's, well, not a million, but there's a lot of uh, adjustments that you can make. Same 